Buzkashi. A famous Central Asian game. A violent tussle on horseback. In this episode, I'm going to explain this traditional Central Asian game where a dead goat is the ball and even the spectators are at risk of injury. This is one you won't want to miss. I've got to say, if you have a chance to see Buzkashi when you're in Tashkurgan, definitely take it. It was probably one of the most exciting experiences, the top five experiences that I've had traveling around Xinjiang for the last decade, so it really was good. Buzkashi is a game that's not just for the Tajik here in Tashkurgan. It's actually a very popular game all throughout Central Asia, particularly in Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan. Many other ethnicities have different ways of playing this game on horseback, but the general gist of the game stays the same. People on horseback, or in some cases yakback, are trying to take a headless, footless goat carcass and put it either in a hole or around a flag or in a general area. For the Tajik here in Tashkurgan, the whole goal is to actually get it into a hole, or in one case, a big tire. The footage that you're going to see here was taken from two different games that we witnessed, one on the grasslands near Tashkurgan and another on the plains north of the city. For us, it all started with a phone call during lunch. We took a small van up a rocky dirt road to a clearing near the Pamir Mountains where players were gathering with their horses and spectators were enjoying the occasion. The games are at times really fast paced and at other times really slow. Sometimes the horses are all in a scrum and sometimes they're chasing at it after each other at full gallop. It really depends on what's happening at that moment and it's exciting to watch. As a spectator, since there are no boundaries, sometimes the horses are running straight at you. You really have no control. As you can see here, yeah, that, that's my bag, my camera bag. <laughs> Thankfully, I had everything out of it, but it got trampled. It was muddy and dirty, and if I'd had something in there and got it broken, I probably would have been pretty sad. But that's just the nature of the game. You as a spectator need to be on your feet and ready to move at any point in time. So to the best of my understanding, the games are sponsored usually as part of a wedding. The father of the bride will put up a certain amount of money and that money will be used to pay per point for the players. So let's say that he wants to put up uh, 10,000 yuan where each point is worth 1,000 yuan. That means that every time a player gets the goat carcass into the hole, he earns 1,000 yuan for himself. At the end of the game, the father of the bride will give away, let's say a larger item such as a TV or a washing machine, refrigerator, those type of items. So the number of points in a game or the number of games being played on a certain day are all dependent on how wealthy the father of the bride is or how much money he's willing to give away of his savings. I hope you enjoyed this video about Buzkashi. I had a great time putting it together. I had a great time filming it. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up or comment, let me know what you thought and subscribe to the YouTube channel for Far West China. I promise you, I've got a ton of great videos coming up and I look forward to sharing them with you. Thanks.